My name is Adam Lawrence, and I'm the Managing Partner for Process Improvement Partners, a sponsor of BTOS at Home. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a system I developed over many years, working with hundreds of teams all around the world to help them sustain the solutions that they work so hard to achieve when they're dealing with critical business problems. The system I developed is called the Wheel of Sustainability, and I'd like to show you a, a graphic of it. So as you can see, the wheel has eight spokes and a central hub. And just like any other wheel, if we remove a spoke, the wheel gets weaker. If we took the hub out from the middle, the wheel totally falls apart. So I'd like to give you a very quick summary of the hub and all the components of the wheel, and then encourage you to learn more about it by speaking with me or attending one of my workshops here at BTOS at home. Okay, in the center is leadership commitment. So what does that mean? What it means is that leaders are aligned around helping the team do everything they need to do to solve the problem and sustain the solution following their efforts. Leadership sets the team up to win, gives them the time to do the work they need to do, and has clearly defined the problem they're trying to solve and the objectives that would let them know the problem has been solved. Leadership participates, leadership supports, leadership helps, and leadership follows the new changes as defined by the team. So clearly, leadership commitment is critical and that's why it's the hub. Now let me take you around the wheel and show you the wheel again to get that concept for you. So starting at 12 o'clock, as you can see, is notification. So notification means we're going to tell people about a change or an improvement we've made, but we're going to do it in a way that helps them understand not just the what of the changes, but the why. People need to show that they clearly understand and are aligned with the changes we're going to make. So again, leadership commitment would mean that leaders would be also participating in that notification. The second spoke is training and review. So once we've let the organization know there's a change, now we're going to participatively help people understand how to implement that change. So using a technique called tell, show, and do, we're going to one-to-one -one or one-to-two work with people to help them truly understand the change and how to accomplish it. We will tell them about the change, we will show them how to do the change, and then they will demonstrate to us that they understand the change by actually performing the new standard work procedure or process. It's a great way to make sure there's clear understanding and there's also alignment around there's one best way to do something. The next spoke is visible evidence. Visible evidence means that I can actually tell from a good distance away that everything is either working as it should or not working. And if I see something not working, as a leader, I should be stepping in to provide assistance and to understand why we're off standard. The next spoke is all tools available. So what that means is you have everything you need to do your task in a safe and productive and logical way. If you need two documents at different locations, those documents are placed at each location. If you need a wrench at three different locations, you have three wrenches, one at each location. So everything you need is there and available to you to do your work. The next spoke is clear benefits. And what that means is the person that's going to have to do the new process or procedure or work sees it as a benefit to them. So my teams, as we're creating these new solutions, we test those solutions on people that weren't involved in the team to get honest and raw and unfiltered feedback. Believe me, if people that aren't on the team don't like your new idea, they're going to let you know. And so our teams then come back and realize hey, this works for us, but it may not work for those in the field. How can we make it beneficial to them as well? The next spoke is layered audit. So layered audit means different levels of the organization are going to verify that things are working as they should. And if they aren't working as they should, they are to engage with 
the organization to help people see the right way to do things. So they're showing their support, they're showing their leadership, and they're showing their emphasis. The next spoke is accountability. So think about accountability as if somebody was about to do something dangerous. You would not walk by them and allow them to put themselves in harm's way. You would hold yourself accountable to help them do something in the safest, most stress-free way and redirect them to the proper behavior. That's what accountability means to me and in the construct of the wheel of sustainability. Finally, the last spoke is recognition. Now recognition is not the giving of prizes. Recognition is more helping the organization understand cause and effect. So we made a change and something good happened. But if people don't notice that something good happened because of the change, it won't be sustained very well. So what we want to do is we want to emphasize those stories of cause and effect to get the organization talking about and aligning around those changes as it became a benefit to them. Now you can see that that's a lot of, that's a lot of components. There are eight components, eight spokes, and one hub. But clearly, if we're making an effort to try to implement each of the spokes during a team effort or a project, we've got a really good chance to sustain the effort. And that's really what this is all about. So when I'm working with teams, we are actually implementing the wheel of sustainability to the work that they're doing as they're doing it. And by the end of the effort, we have implemented the wheel with leadership support, supporting all of those efforts and doing it the way the team has designed because it's become a benefit to the organization. Now, as you can probably tell, I could talk about this all day or I could write a book on it. And it just so happens that I did. Now, it's not been published, but this is one of the uh, early editions of the Wheel of Sustainability. Look for that early in 2021. But between now and then, I would love to talk to you more about this because we've had a lot of really great success with teams, like I said, all around the world. If you're able to, please come to my workshop, which is Wednesday, November 18th at 1245. Love to see you there and talk to you more. We'll be hosting a round table. And certainly, come visit me at my virtual booth. Let's set up time to talk. And let's just explore how this might help you even further. I appreciate your time. I look forward to talking with you. And the next slide will show my contact details. Have a great conference.